YouTube Double D, Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Guys, let us help you beat the odds if you're new to the page or if you've been here before. Thanks for tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. I would love it if you would go down, subscribe, click the bell so you're notified. Thumbs up. You appreciate the content. Either way, I'm just glad that you're here. Tuning into this video, right? Um, yeah, so we've been on a little bit of a free pick. A skid here. Five and three or less. Not a skid. Five and three or less. Eight. We've dropped a couple in a row. We want to make sure we get it back. If you're not following Bryce, make sure you follow Bryce. Shout out to Bryce. Um, with his NASCAR yesterday. If you're looking for a full recap, go to defeatthebook.com. You get all the picks for the entire week between him and myself with units attached. It's all about transparency between you guys and us. Now, we're going to start something new here this week. First day, first time we've done it here at Defeat the Book. It's called Make It Back Monday, right? Make It Back Monday. People chased all weekend. They lost their money. Come back with us on Monday. We'll make it back for you. $12. You get a full card for either capper of your choice. Not sure if Bryce has some now. So for him, it'll be a little bit delayed until he gets into NFL and college football rolling consistently in college basketball. He's not really been dabbling in baseball too much. So for now, it'll just be me, I believe, until NFL comes back. Then I'm sure he'll be a part of that also. But for now, make it back Monday. $12 flat full card. Um, for uh for myself right now and then bryce um here at defeatthebook.com so twelve dollars make it back monday full card we're on a nice run 22 and 8 plus 35 96 our last 30 picks having a very successful baseball season positive roi i want to try to continue to build upon that as the season now is winding down and coming to a close we're getting into playoff season so want to continue the success want to give you guys some more value um twelve dollars make it back monday here every monday at defeat the book now let's get you guys a free pick to send you on your way, get things back on track. We're trying to get the six and three or last nine um, and get a nice run going with these free picks. We're going to take a look at the Padres going up against the Miami Marlins. In this matchup, Sandy Alcantara, we know, has been light out. Um, coming off a matchup where he got touched up by the Phils, went seven and two thirds, gave up four earned runs, and only had four strikeouts. Before that complete game, shut out against the Reds. We know what Alcantara does. He's absolutely stellar. I don't trust that lineup. I'm not sure they can drive in enough runs. Now, you may be looking at Musgrove and saying he's starting to have a little bit of regression here. Where he had back-to-back -back games in the month of July where he gave up five earned runs, did four earned run, only went five innings in those matchups. He's came back since then and had only gave up two. Then the next matchup, bam, he gave up six. So people are starting to see a little bit of regression here from Musgrove. I still think this lineup's not good enough to really expose him, even if he's regressed a little bit. But he is coming off a nice matchup here against San Francisco Giants where he went seven innings, six hits, only gave up one earned run, and it was a solo shot, right? So I think that he's still... Um, an elite pitcher, still one of the best in the business. And what we're seeing from the Padres now is what we expected to see before. I honestly think that the suspension of Fernando Tatis is, is kind of helps them in the long run. They have these players kind of shuffling around, bringing in Bell, bringing in Soto. A lot of players moving in a lot of different directions as guys are coming on and off the injured list. Um, and I actually feel like guys know now where they're going to be playing. They're going to be solid. It's going to just build confidence moving forward. You know that this is your team and this is pretty set. You don't really have to worry about bringing in another uh, superstar player over there at shortstop, right? But add to the fact, right? Musgrove's on the mound. He's elite. The bats are starting to click the way that we thought they would click early on, right? Last five games, they're four of the last five. They've won average wins, right? Or average total runs. Almost eight runs a game, right? So the bats are really, and that's including the game a couple nights ago where they only scored three runs. So these bats are really starting to click. They're really starting to swing. Um, and I think they're going to make it tough for Cantera to get late, or Sandy Alcantara to get late into this matchup. And I just think this is a different team now with Soto and Bell. And when you add Bell and Soto in, two guys who are very familiar with Sandy Alcantara, then I think it's going to be difficult for Miami to win this matchup. Give me the San Diego Padres on the money line. Joe Musgrove, Sandy Alcantara, mark your pictures as always. Shop around 130, 132, 135. Get the best number that you possibly can. Obviously, use multiple books. Hop on board. Make it back Monday here at DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you make your money back from the weekend after you've blown it all on random parlays, right? <laughs> so it's Derek. Da -da 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 Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com, guys. Let us help you beat those odds. Um, best of luck if you decide to tail or, or fade. Either way, I hope that you guys have a great Monday. Let's start this week off right.